European conquest, the conquistadors. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then we had Anglo conquistadors in North <laughs> America. Yeah, and I haven't been politically active. I guess we're going, I guess it's come up. And so uh, welcome, welcome very much. We were just talking about your love and uh, your very close affection for Aboriginal people, particularly uh, some yes. of the people that we're going to be showing some clips about. And we're talking with Pamela Timmons. Pamela Timmons, I'm here to testify, having uh, seen the work and everything, is a real artist, both figuratively and abstractly, and uh, painting and uh, a very sensitive soul in an artistic sense. And she's also a filmmaker, mm -hmm. and she's also got a deep affection for, uh, for e ecological concerns. Mm -hmm. And yes. also for a deep self uh, from her youth, as I was talking to her, for the plight or the situation of the Aboriginal peoples of North America and other parts of the world. And yes. we're going to be talking about that, but we're particularly going to focus on your work as a filmmaker on this particular program. <laughs> welcome in this Christmas <laughs> season, 2014-2015, yes. and welcome again, Pamela, Thank to the program. Thank you, yeah. We were chatting about, you've had ever since you were young, you were very much interested in uh, the, the, the difficulties that there are among the mm -hmm. native peoples here. I know you're very wrapped up and have been in mm -hmm. the three wampum uh, yeah. examples from the yes, Iroquois and yes. so forth and other things. Mm -hmm. but the two-row wampum uh, renewal you, campaign. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And you have been more interested in that as an art. You've been interested in that from the time when you were very, very young almost. Uh, yes. You know, a yeah. youngster. Maybe you could share a little yeah. bit how you developed or under what conditions you developed not only your artistic bent, but also your concern for the plight, if that's the right term, mm. or the uh, possibilities of uh, understanding and celebrating the Aboriginal peoples of North America, as well as the ecological appreciation that they bring and could bring to our society. But some of those yeah. things, when did you get started in that vein of in thinking? That? Well, it was really through school uh -huh. education, uh -huh. you know, and some of the names that uh, are around our countryside. Uh -huh. uh, like we would visit the Ramapo Mountains. Yeah. And the Ramapo is actually a, a indigenous trot. Is it? I didn't realize that. Yeah. yeah I could have guessed, yeah. I guess, but yeah, okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, and I, I lived in Hackensack, just outside of, of Manhattan, and that oh. was also indigenous, the Did Hackensack you say River. You, you had a horse? Or yeah. there was a horse in the family down the line or something. Or, yeah, right? yeah. my mother always uh, rode horses uh -huh. and uh, taught me when I was very young. Yeah. So I had, you know, the great privilege of having a relationship with a horse when I was a little girl. Would you count yourself an equestrian? Uh, yeah. You are. Yeah, you see, you ride. Really? Yes. Oh, well, yeah. wonderful. Do you ever and go I, and I, jump over yes, things and everything? Yes. Do you really? That's yeah. really I a did great, all that training. That's really good mm -hmm. training, I yeah, think. It yeah, it is. It was yeah. very exciting. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, and trail riding, uh -huh. which is more like the Native Americans would be trail riding. Right. I guess yeah. that's probably true, yeah. And then, and then you did. So, anyway, so, and when did you begin to pick up on. Uh, Let's say, you, I guess you, I know you're a really fine painter in, oh, in watercolors to oil mm -hmm. and everything. And I've, I've seen the work and I, uh, I really appreciate it very much. But you're, you're an artistic bent. But when did you start picking up on, let's just say, photography perhaps or on the video? And when did you get yeah. into it? And you're a member of the, uh, of the group over here at MNM Producers and so forth. Yeah. But maybe how you got into multimedia or. Uh, uh, <clears throat> visual as well as audiovisual uh, yeah. representations. Well, uh, out of the drawing and painting that I did when I was uh, a youth, my mm -hmm. mother was an artist. Yeah. And then in school, I was very fortunate to have a great art teacher uh -huh. and mentor who uh, encouraged me to do photography. Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. I took many slides and I actually went out west and mm -hmm. photographed some of the uh, beautiful landscapes that we yeah, have so throughout some, yeah yeah there's some gorgeous sites. yeah well, there's, just there's gorgeous things all over isn't there really? yeah, you know, yeah, but yeah there really is you did landscape uh yeah yeah and... i did portraits and landscapes uh -huh. and then i always loved movement so i did work a little bit with super eight uh -huh. and it was more of an experimental type of filming mm -hmm. which is what i'm working on right now with editing uh -huh. some uh, scenery of the Hudson River Valley yeah. 
to put together an experimental film with the soundtrack of the uh, traditional drum of the Spirit of Thunderheart. Yeah, well, that's picking up on your, your association with the Aboriginal peoples of this land. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. I feel so honored to be able to work with these women. Yeah, and you've also picked up on them. Uh, that's very interesting that you are, because I think there should be more attention given to the Aboriginal people who were here long before <laughs> the Europeans came and so forth. Yeah. And, uh, and they have uh, things to teach us. Mm -hmm. And they do have a sense of, uh, of ecology. Yes. more than perhaps the colonialists from uh, Europe did have the you know mm -hmm. and then particularly in an age where uh, you know the the er, the the ecological concern that they seem to have built into their culture yeah that's you know, right we could it's learn just from part that, of their seems, culture yeah that's how I feel mm. yeah and, and so I'm learning so much about their native customs their way of bringing forth ceremony uh -huh. and their respect for Mother Earth, uh -huh. Father, Son, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Grandmother Moon. Uh -huh. And they see the rocks as their relatives, our mountains, are their grandfathers. Uh -huh. Well, that's all things that we might well lead to as we get lessons in how we could be more ecologically tuned into the broader environment in which Homo sapiens dwell, don't you yeah, think? It's a big yeah. issue that's confronting humanity. Yes, you definitely, know. yeah. Well, they aren't uh, as intellectual in their response to the natural world. Right. It's more heartfelt. Well, and, okay. Uh, yeah, and hmm. their way of seeing is different. You know, I, I feel that they see and sense uh, the natural world, the plants, and they honor and respect them. Uh, they have uh, a prayer and a Thanksgiving address where they give gratitude to everything, mm -hmm. the biodiversity. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You know, so we tend to think of just us as humans, you know, yeah. and occasionally we'll think of, you know, our pets. And sometimes we'll have some tropical fish. But, yeah, you right, know. right. But uh, the indigenous people have really taught me we can honor all of you know the diversity uh -huh. and right now we have um, a petition going around to protect our pollinators because uh, yeah right yeah, you know, yeah. through our honeybees uh, are yes. is a real threat threat and you tell me the monarch Honey, butterfly also yes, right yes yeah. 95 percent of the monarch butterfly is has gone but, well, is that is that validated information that's not yeah. rumor or something no uh, no i've heard this from a few different sources authoritative sources yeah right? i'm working on a piece for yeah. mnn okay with uh -huh. this uh, information uh, and this spring we can really turn this around by uh, protecting their habitat we've been mowing our lawns too severely and then overly um, uh, overuse of pesticides and through that, uh, the bees and the butterflies, our pollinators, our hummingbirds, and even our songbirds are dying. Do we, do we have it clearly linked to that or other circumstances yes. that might have resulted in these kind of things? Because when you have an industrially developed society, they very often do not take very careful care as they had out of a historical pattern when they were embedded closer into nature themselves. That's right. So that gets lost. Civilization, I think it means by definition, city dwelling. Uh -huh. So city dwelling people are probably not as used to being close to the environment as even 100 years ago in America on the frontier. They were much yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. But we are turning that around. The young people are, you know, planting. Uh, the roofs and uh, they are doing the empty lots. Mm -hmm. Like in Brooklyn, there's 596 empty lots that gardens? are, that are tur being turned into gardens now. It's encouraging. Uh, yeah. yeah, you think it is. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and they're learning uh -huh. to be beekeepers uh -huh. and to plant the milkweed for the monarch butterflies. Yeah, the monarch butterfly, right? I was from Michigan down Lake Erie. They mm -hmm. would come through in the autumn when they were there. The sky would be absolutely darkened. By the by, the monarch butterflies that were the, coming. It was uh, a magnificent so scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that coming? We have down? to turn it around. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, it's it's hard to imagine, but ninety five percent of the population is gone right now. Um, so this is a real important issue.
Well, that, okay, I got to look that yeah. up and everything. Yeah. That, that comes as a shock to me, but mm -hmm. I guess it needn't because there are other kinds of things like that going on. But then you picked up. Put into you, a search. You, you did still photography for a while? Yes. Did you use a Minolta or what? Yeah. Or what camera? A Mamaya Secor. Uh, okay. Yeah, 35 millimeter single reflex. So you so you took it up seriously? Yeah, did yeah, you I any did. Portraiture or what? yeah, portraits and uh -huh. landscapes and close-ups. I, I had exhibits mm -hmm. in, in New Jersey and New York. It's artistic, huh? Yeah, it's an yeah. Is it, it Stieglitz? It comes to mind. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I love Stieglitz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, and I was influenced by George O'Keefe. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Who he discovered and yeah, just That's loved true. her. Yeah. And her work. Well, spoken like an artist that you are, <laughs> and that's good. I can't think of a nicer term to say and everything like that. But anyway, we're talking about filmmaking and so forth. And you have, um, you you brought in a couple of clips we're going to want to play. You yeah. know, one of the, or both of them. We can get them in and everything. Oh, wonderful. And uh, maybe we should sort of set that up because okay. you developed a love of uh, video process, and yes. you've done a great deal of work in video. Yes. Much of uh, some clips we're going to show, but. Maybe you can share how you got into video, and I'm okay. uh, really happy that you've been able to associate with them and in here and so forth. Yeah, You're a great yeah. contributor to what's going on. But when well, did you get involved in video? With I video, could? well, um, it was really uh, just before the turn of this century, and um, I was really moved by turn. Pete Seeger's uh, documentary *Power of Song*. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And uh, the use of digital video that it could go worldwide. Uh huh. So I was able to put together uh, this short yeah, documentary. Me, I know you've you've got this is a documentary you've done because you were, you were a friend and you were in awe of the, uh, the contribution of Pete yes, Seeger. Whereas a number of very my, much maybe so. we can, if we can show this on camera one or so if we can. Maybe get a tight shot of this if we can. This is the doc this is a documentary that you made. I don't know. Yeah. We seem not to be able to get to it, but uh, okay. can you bring it up here or something? This is uh, in tribute and get it focused if we can. Yeah. Um, what it says, uh, teaching our young people is uh, so important. Yeah. And he always wanted the youth to understand. Yeah. The their relationship with the environment. So hence the clear water. Yeah, the clear water was the thing that uh, it used to be the, the 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 I think the shad are running in the in there now. It was they terribly polluted yeah, the, the, yeah. the Hudson River. There's still shad runs, and, and it is cleaning up. Well, they, I mean, well, they, they they were they were way diminished, and then they started they said to clean up the Hudson River with the clear water. With yeah. the sailing ship and everything, and they've done a, a, a good job in they cleaning have. that up. That's a yeah. re, that's a reassuring movement. The Clean in the Water right Act, direction. Yeah, yeah, came through that. And yeah, the shad there's now still are more running. to be done. And the, the river is much clearer than it was. People can swim in it and yes. the recreational capability. And everything. Yeah. And if Pete Seeger was a, a real hero of yours. He, definitely. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'm in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and just it's just been a year since he's passed on, and there's been so many memorials mm -hmm. and tributes, and they continue. Mm -hmm. uh, Spook Handy is one of the young uh, folk singers that Pete, uh, you know, brought forth, uh -huh. and he's doing a tour of the U.S., Canada, and he wants to make it a worldwide tour to remember. Pete Seeger's songs and his message. Mm -hmm. And this, 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 this is a th this is a documentary that you made. Yeah. So yeah. that's one of the subjects that you've dealt with in terms of the content of your yes. documentary work. How much documentary filming have you done now? I yeah. Mean, oh, I've done several. Uh, several. Yeah. Could you just take off a couple, yeah. maybe? Well, there's uh, making solar happen, mm -hmm. and that's something that Pete and I also shared. Uh huh. Uh, he had a truck that. That was solar powered. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we don't have that. You know, to this day, I was in Toyota and said, When are you coming up with your solar powered cars? And mm. they're not there yet. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So the idea that the sun can give us our energy mm -hmm. is so, you know, natural, yeah. so simple. And so that's what he did. He's been doing it for a few billion years. Yeah. In terms yeah. of the evolutionary of the whole eco ecosystem, of including us, right? Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right, right, so yeah. making solar happen is oh. New York City. Uh -huh. And it continues. 
<laughs> Did you see they had 400,000 people in the street and uh, at the yeah. time of uh, global warming, you know, that's that's, right. that's coming up to the be a major climate change march. Climate change, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Were you, did you take part in that? Uh, yeah, 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 I was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, the drumming group that I'm working with yeah. next year, they're going to be leading the climate march. Is that true? Yeah. They're going to be Along leading the, the climate? I mean, right out in, char in front of the whole climate yes. march, you're going to be the group that you're going to be? been invited to. Well, that's the yeah. group you're very associated <laughs> with. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, really if I'm not mistaken, it's got a lot to do, or your attention, you're, you, you've got uh, identity upstate and as well as in New York, but uh, the three-row wampum, uh, wampum right. of the Iroquois nation yes. was an inspiration to uh, uh, Benjamin Franklin and other writers of the Constitution yeah, for yeah. Democracy. That's Is that right. not right, correct? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And they celebrated yeah. that the other day. They I did. mean, the other week yeah. and a half. Yeah. yeah, 400 years. Yeah. But I, I do have a clip of the Spirit of Thunderheart who hmm. will be leading that uh, climate change march. Uh -huh. And it was shot right here at the MN Studios. Okay, good. So if you now, want I to think put maybe that we on. could try and set that up. Yeah? And okay. that's, uh, that's uh, again, tied into the three row uh, uh, Well, Wampum, they or? were part of the uh, movement that came down to New York City. There was uh, two weeks of teach ins. Uh -huh. And the Spirit of Thunderheart were drumming. Uh -huh. And they also led the. Uh, the Dakota Unity Riders okay. across the um, Hudson Bridge, the walkway. Yeah, uh, was that back last summer? Yeah, yeah. And, and they had a bunch of canoes game. Yes, down. the canoes were going <laughs> underneath this mile-long bridge, right. and uh, uh, they were walking across with. And and they were celebrating the, the three-row. Yeah, wampum. Uh, actually two. Two row. Two row. Sorry, two yeah. row yeah. wampum, wampum, which had uh, informed. The founding fathers of this republic. Yes. Yeah. It well, was a treaty between the uh, colonizers and the natives. And the Iroquois and others. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, and you got a clip of that, right? Uh, yeah. I have uh, the uh, Spirit of Thunderheart um, right now. I have the Spirit of Thunderheart drumming. Okay. Yeah, the welcome song. We'll do the Mohawk well, welcome song. Yeah. All right.
beautiful spirit of Thunderheart right here in New York City at the Eminem Studios playing live. And tonight you have a performance in Greenwich Village. Yes, we do. Greenwich yeah. Village. Yeah. Seven? Yeah. <laughs> from the documentary film that I'm producing right now and uh, there's more to come. Uh, the Spirit of Thunderheart is also producing a CD that will be released this spring. Their Facebook page will be announcing. Okay, that's really good. I love that little girl walk out there. That was she, really beautiful and everything. She's adorable. Yeah, yeah. she's adorable. That really is yeah. beautiful. And what? she was resonating with the drumming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. What a, I wonder if she can remember that when she gets to be an adult. I don't know if those kind of memories. I wonder when we first pick up memories. I'm not sure yeah, that can be I think a she meaning. Will. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but that's really good. That's really beautiful. And that was a major thing that went on. And uh, you say they're going to lead. The uh, global warming or what? Yes. Uh, the uh, the protest next climate year. Climate change march. Yeah. We in had two thousand fifty. We had four hundred thousand yeah. last year. Yeah. How many do you think we're going to have next year? Oh, we're hoping we're going to have millions. A million. Yeah. Millions, yeah. Let's really. hope. Yeah, and we should all turn out. It's so important. You're really that one thousand percent behind yeah. that idea, right? Oh. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. It was uh -huh. a beautiful, peaceful protest. Oh, and we really believe that it did influence um, the decision to uh, stop with the banning. We've, uh, we have banned fracking. Uh, in New York, yeah, I mean, there's local at, things, yeah, like yeah. that, right. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, uh, which is also across the country, so that's mm. next. Uh -huh. uh, ban fracking throughout the U.S. Uh -huh. France has banned it throughout their country. Mm -hmm. And then also the tar sands. 
Yeah, the, the, the tire sands that. from from uh, uh, you know from Canada, but it would be all going to the benefit of China or something. It would be going That's to other right. mine. It doesn't <laughs> That's right. doesn't come. It just goes through us, you mm -hmm. know, like a all like a client export, state, uh, you know. Mm -hmm. there. But anyway, so and I've heard you say that there is a uh, element of this that has to do with another aspect of the dialectic of existence in the world, and that is male female. That the mm -hmm. female principle, which has been uh, uh, not given adequate concern through the civilization process, perhaps, mm. uh, is something that might be emerging to the benefit of the overall system. You think yes. this and yes. the drumming is done mm -hmm. by women, yes. and that that is something that's along with this uh, global warming, uh, by, you know, yes. the, 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 the issues mm -hmm. around that. So protecting forth. Mother Maybe Earth. Protecting yeah. Mother Earth. Mm -hmm. And the female principle of the female... Uh, you know, uh, as opposed to the male yes. element within the structure of universal yes. consciousness or we universal reality. We give birth reality. to life and mm. we nurture life. And through the prophecy of the Algonquin. Okay, uh, talk, yeah. Yeah, the, when the tips of the maple trees wither and die, mm -hmm. that's when the women will return to the drum. And now that the Spirit of Thunderheart is playing their big traditional drum, uh -huh. uh, they were validated through oh. the mm. uh, Native American Music Awards this year. They were well, nominated. I'm not sure if we can hold this up. We seem to have a difficulty getting focus. I hold it up. I, I don't know if they can get in on the camera. This there yeah. we go. Okay. There it comes in the focus. Oh, good. This is a. Yeah. You want you want to go right to this? We can. Yeah. If we can focus the Native in American on this. Music Award nomination uh, for the uh, traditional recording of Rising, uh -huh. and we just heard a little bit of that. Um, I, I was invited up there, and they actually won uh -huh. Uh -huh. for best traditional recording, the CD Rising. That, that is the the the, the Thunderheart. The, yeah, the Spirit group of Thunderheart. That been yeah. particularly associated yeah. with. So uh, as far as the Skatico Nation, that validates the prophecy, and that means this is the time that the women will uh, bring forth leadership and help us find our way out of the chaos. I think we can see that emerging sociologically and politically on the planet, don't I you? See it. Doesn't yeah. it seem that way? Uh, yes, it that does. It used to be that women were in the uh, kitchen and taking, you know, that. Mm -hmm. And it seems to be that they're assuming a new kind of a responsible role in terms of organizing world society, it does seem. Yeah, You think definitely. we're ready for a female president? Uh, yeah. You yeah, do. Definitely. You have to, yeah. you have to think that. <laughs> I, I would think have thought so. you might. Yeah, yeah right, yeah, right. Definitely. Against um, the, uh, particularly against what would be put up in this place. And mm -hmm. so, so it might be a time of a qualitative uh, transformation making possible. I don't think that's been very characteristic of most of what is called the long tread up uh, the mountain, uh, Mount Sisyphus, if you want to call it, or the long trail from our beginnings in Africa as wanderers and so forth, mm. and the evolutionary process that we call uh, the, uh, the, the, the evolution of our species. Mm. I don't think the evidence is there that where women were in strong, mm. they were there, and yeah. it was important, but I don't oh, think they were given the kind of uh, recognition. Of Taking care of the next generation, yeah. Well, we did have Cleopatra, <laughs> and we had a couple of things, you know, a Thank couple goodness. of women. But on the whole, it was a matter of the men ruling for the most yeah. part. Well, with the native or the male principle. Maybe it's better to talk about the male principle and the female principle. Hmm. And women seem to be more female mm -hmm. than male. I don't know if it's any point in talking about the <laughs> distinction between the male principle and the female principle in the universe. Well, I, I think that what's happening right now is we're going through a kind of transformation. Yeah. Where. Um, women are feeling the need to come forth and share their knowledge and understanding of yeah. how to nurture, nurture protect, okay. yeah. and provide, uh -huh. and you know, give back to all that we've taken. Uh -huh. Where uh, men have always been there to go out and hunt and provide in that way, protect, and it's off balance right now, so it's going to return to balance with this. You think we're doing too much investigating of the new? 
Men yeah, go out and, I think and find been, a new frontier. The women preserve what's there. I think so that the idea the men of preserving are what we overly have overly protective. That pardon? we have too much war. They're being overly protective of the homeland, and that yeah, there's right. too much it's war right the now. The history of the world is a history yeah. of one war after another, after another, after another, and everybody yeah. fighting over who's winning. Yes. Like a boxing man. Yeah, yeah. Somebody gets knocked the, down. And the resources are being depleted. We need to, you know, be more considerate and Maybe respectful. Maybe we can't afford war no more. No. Something like that. Long. Yeah. Particularly when the weapons are so destructive, right? <laughs> oh, and terribly. And that development of yeah. that. Yeah. Talk about environmental problems. Yeah. yeah. And you think when we, we could take this. lead in that uh, by some... There, there's more, again, I'm really struck, particularly as the Northwest tribes and that. And I studied, I lived for a couple of years in Bolivia among the Aymara people. Oh, wonderful. And the people there, they're, you know, they got a rich culture that goes way back mm -hmm. and everything like that. And um, particularly in the Northwest, the uh, there were some, Prince Joseph or there were, or, or uh, you know, Chief Joseph, and they, they were very close to nature yes. and the importance of it. And I think there's lessons there that we've lost maybe in our pell-mell rush to conquer Mother Earth or something along those lines. Right. Uh, you understand? Right. There, there's some big principle involved in all of that, don't, don't you think? I agree. You do, I yeah. agree. And it, it's a matter of consciousness. Mm -hmm. Of we, consciousness yeah. and conscience, yeah. perhaps. Yeah, and yeah. conscience. Yeah. yeah, and that's what's happening. We're becoming more conscious of what we can do. Do you think we're coming to the uh, to more conscious in the extreme to where because um, there there were life forms up the hominoid line before there was homo sapien. We evolved. Mm -hmm. We yes. evolved about 200,000 years ago. Yes. Our, we, there was nothing before that. There was nothing homo sapien. There were predecessors to that. Yes. Do you think we may be coming to the end of a 200,000 year sojourn in universe where we'll come into a new way of being transcended to what yeah. we've been through this period called the homo sapien era <laughs> like that we yeah. understand what i'm life saying life is change yeah life is change and yeah. it's changing are you yeah. optimistic for the human prospect yes. or you I, are i, I believe I, that unreservedly is, yeah. or you don't worry yeah. about how they might just decide to blow it all up uh, well as long as the sun keeps coming up we have another day that is encouraging can, yeah, isn't it? And, yeah. The moon, <laughs> and the moon too and the they moon both comes come up. just like I, yeah right yeah I, mm. I think that we should be concerned that's why i believe that this is a time of change uh -huh. uh, and um uh, like I said, through the prophecy of the Native Americans, uh -huh. these women actually represent that in their culture. But you were so, saying before, the women, the female principle represents conservation of what is. Mm -hmm. The yeah. male goes out and makes the new. They right. go out and make the discovery of something new. Yes. So isn't there need to be some sort of a, progress, a, a combination of the two yeah. somehow? Yeah, exactly. We can't cling to the past. And we can't be arrogantly proclaiming a newer, but we do want something new other than the historical pattern. James Joyce had Daedalus say, history is a nightmare of injustice from which we're attempting to awaken. That's we do right. want something new, do we not? <laughs> That's what's happening right now. And is that something to do with what we traditionally thought of as the male principle? Going out and discovering the new, making the new, not preserving yeah. what you have. Yeah. But discovering the new. Uh, I don't know. Yes. Well, I, life is always changing. And there's don't you think much there's somewhere to... for the male principle in there? It's not yeah. to be just well, uh, no, no, eliminated. No, you know, not th at this all. Is a, this is a, no, a dialectic. It's actually of, the opposite. There yeah. is somewhere for the maternal to come forth okay. and the feminine, mm -hmm. where men typically have sort of taken the lead. And uh, now it's time for the women. It is not to, to join. Yeah, to it's not to exclude oh. the men. It's mm. for because right now people don't know the men don't know what to do. Well, the men it's are represented. Obvious. Are the men is the male principle represented by fracking and fossil fuels and uh, carbon yeah. dioxide yeah, and, and, the, and uh, the, uh, the Republican Party <laughs> and the, all of the those are yeah. male things in the mind of people who think that they are the enemy that has to be it's addressed. Been, it's been male leadership for the it most has part. Been. Yeah. yeah, it has so been mostly. So it's time yeah. to find a way to restore and to you know, have gratitude, to forgive, 
-hmm. to protect yeah. in a new way. And to go of into having new. compassion for each other. And discover the new. Yeah, yeah. Not the to new. get enthralled with the past only or the yeah. outdated institutions out of which we're coming. Yeah. Let go. I mean, that's something of the evolutionary process itself is requiring mm -hmm. both East and West shall meet, male <laughs> and female, something, you know. Well, letting go of the past which is fear-based. And embracing the future. Yeah. We have a hard time. Well, maybe the, <laughs> the female, you know, the idea of what you're doing with the, you know, with that is, is something that is coming to the full or into the full. So yeah. you, are, you are optimistic. Yeah, definitely. Okay. To okay, find the time to really um, have the gratitude for the beauty and the harmony of our way of life. And it is there if we give ourselves the time and pay attention. But there are still so, tremendous problems confronting us, no? Yeah, oh, of course. But the only way to resolve them is to uh, stop the destruction and stop the uh, perpetual wars. It's just leading us into a, uh, it's really like a slow genocide on the planet altogether. I don't mean to beat a dead horse or anything, but the weapons have become, as I'm, I may be wrong, and certainly they were at some point, such that, you know, you, you, you had a musket or you had a, a, a rifle or you had a tomahawk or you had something you could hit the other person on the head with or something, right. but it was limited until within, along came Einstein and the splitting of the atom, right. and then along exactly. came Mr. Teller and the creating of hydrogen bombs, and we've mm -hmm. got a uh, trident fleet with uh, weapons that are uh, able to, apparently, if they were to be unleashed in a spasm of hatred, would mean the end of our species. Yeah. Do you th that's only in our lifetime, only in this moment. Uh, mm -hmm. Do you think Very that's recently. true, yeah. that if there's a miscalculation, by somebody who said, I can't stand it, I'm going, you know, there's a lot of angst in the air. If it was to be done, do you think it's possible we have the ability now to destroy every single human being with the weapons that are developed? Uh, I, I really am not in the place to uh, s foresee no, that. No, just as a citizen. But, well, I'm concerned about the war that's going on right now. I'm not looking into the future to okay. uh, the annihilation, but I think that it is Im important for us to consider what's going on right now. When you think that a trillion dollars has been spent on Afghanistan in the last yeah, 11 right. years. Yeah, and we're going back and in. And yet, it, it's education. No. Yeah. You know, and yet our college students are in a trillion dollars worth of debt. Uh, debt. Yeah. So uh, if, There's you, something, uh, if you pause and take a look at that and what has come of the 11 years of being in Afghanistan, mm. Uh, it's not a good picture. Well, yeah. you know, it's quite serious. So it's time to say, you know, stop. Yeah. Let's turn this around. And that's what the women are here Okay, for. good. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. just rambling on and everything. It's a theme of mine. So, I, I think that's the case. And, uh, so, now so I this have award. another clip yeah, of that's, them I don't receiving want to lose this that. award. You got the drumming session and yeah. everything. And you got another so, clip. And maybe you could set it up for us. I mean, yeah. we showed that Why to don't the we audience. Yeah, if we could. Close out it, with. It, it, no, it, just explain it. What It's an yeah. award that was given to them. Yeah, right? well, it, they were nominated by their record producer Mm -hmm. uh, for their CD rising mm -hmm. in the best traditional. And that's a very difficult process to even receive that nomination. Yeah. And then it went on to an online survey vote uh -huh. so that uh, they were listened to by uh, people who registered. There were a uh, quarter of a million people that registered wow. to vote. Wow, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. around the world. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. So they found that they have people that are listening to their CD in France, mm -hmm. Austria, and Australia. That's from our drummers, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, they're, they're listened to quite a, quite a bit there and all over the world. Uh -huh. uh, they're part of Voices of Women Worldwide, which okay. is Internet TV, who's yeah. been promoting them. Good. They're pa part of Facebook, mm -hmm. LinkedIn, 
uh, and uh, okay, it's also Spirit of Wind Records. Okay, very, very yeah. good. That's bringing all of the modern technology and, and the communications capability, including filmmaking and so forth, to the service of this larger issue that they may be representing an upwelling of a good feeling that might be able to be the savior grace of the world, <laughs> as it were, in a yeah. sense, and it's worth paying attention to. Yeah. And so you got another clip, huh? Yeah. And maybe yeah. we can set that about five minutes or so also, yeah. I think. Yeah, okay. it would be good. So we're talking with Pamela, Pamela Timmons, a uh, glorious artist and uh, video uh, producer and filmmaker. So let's show that second clip of the... <laughs>
also to our producer, Donald Blackbox, and, um, and to everybody. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>
like mm -hmm. Mr. Kennedy, or we land on the moon, or something that marked an era. That's right. Uh, in my generation, it would be when we came out of the Second World War, and there was a GI Bill, and there were all kinds of things, mm -hmm. and it just seemed to be a time that was more encouraging of uh, human development and justice and that sort of thing, and right. opportunity for all. The spirit was in the air. It was just a period of, uh, it's a little hard to get. I'm not sure everybody thought that way at the time. But do you understand what I'm saying? Do you think there was a past yeah. era that was a characteristic that we might draw upon? Or are we off on the wrong track? Students go to college now and they come out with burning debt. Uh, right. the, the wealth involvement, is, it's all concentrated in a few hands. Mm -hmm. And they, they don't need people anymore to do the production of material goods and everything like they did in the past. There was a role for all kinds of people, of artisans and things like right. that, that aren't needed now with the well, cybernetic but development. But they are needed. You, you think know, so? Yeah, People are still needed in terms of the, material production? That's Well, it's our humanity. Of course, we need to be able to use our hands and produce things. That's what develops us and evolve, and we evolve into you know, <clears throat> being who we originally are meant to be. Uh, I you see, think so, yeah? yeah you I, think people are still needed in the productive process? Definitely. I mean, uh, yeah. if I may, in material it, it's just things, a decision. just material things, yeah. not, not the things that really matter, like art and the thing. That seems yeah. to have very little meaning to anything other than what can be done to make money. That seems to be the only okay. value that's in, in the driver's seat now. Well, uh, in a way that... Um, it's not the only value. It just depends on who you're listening to. Well... Yeah. To the, to the march of history, it seems to be all of our institutions are geared toward a, a thing that sees uh, the role of people doing something that's going to make money. That is a major thing that uh, uh, motivates again, virtually all of our human institutions. It's consciousness. When okay, we evolve different. from, if you listen to the elders of the indigenous people, of, yeah. of the indigenous all around the globe, mm -hmm. uh, this is why they, yeah, okay, the around. indigenous people are going to the United Nations and they want their voices to be heard. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not about just a material world. Mm -hmm. And that came forth in the 60s. Okay, now you're getting back to another era. Yeah, which there isn't that a, long ago. No, what, no, I understand, yeah, right, I understand. That we questioned the material world and, and our race to have more and more. And now it's time to uh, go back and really uh, understand that if we're conscious, we do not need more and more. We can be satisfied with having what we need and having more of a relationship with each other, to have uh, a compassion and to have peace, rather than competitiveness and war. I, I see. So what it's you're a mindset. Yeah. yeah. So uh, our education. You think we should learn to have everybody learn forth. to back off on the. You can live with a five watt light bulb. You don't need fifteen watts. You can be parsimonious. You yes. can be without. We're learning and to do we're, this. Do you think that's something we should learn to live more simply? Yeah, yeah and, we have uh, not much. try to build up uh, wealth and then to convince the people who have nothing that they can live. I mean, yeah. well, I'm, I don't, I'm trying th I don't to think, think it it's through. convincing it, people that have nothing. I think or it's to have less yeah. for them. The ones yeah. that have nothing should have a little less. Should have, and the people no. who have everything should have more is what's in the driver's seat now. That's what's going on now. Yeah. That's what's going on now, yeah. is it not? Yes, Okay, definitely. now that's not very good. Yeah, uh, but it's changing. A, you it's think changing. it is? Where, are yeah. the, where is the evidence that it's changing? Uh, there's a there's never been there's such a cooperative a... movement right okay. now. Of, mm -hmm. uh, there's a big grassroots movement of thousands, probably millions of people that are starting to work together to form workers' co-ops. And you see it a lot with the community-supported gardens and the, uh, okay. the farmers' markets. Uh, and that's what's coming forth. Uh, and it's uh, back okay. to a fair and equal share. W when we go to the market, we see uh, brands that are labeled uh, fair equity, and that's yeah. coming forth. And we just have to look for that and support it. And when we go to buy something, buy something that's 
comes from our local uh, markets and, and also from being produced locally. You, that's an important principle to produce it, it locally. Yeah. But yeah. now the major thing is with containerization, you got a thing called Walmart. Yeah. They can go anywhere in the world and produce things that are far lower cost and bring them back. Yeah, but and it's, the, it's, it's going um, against the local. It's subsidized. I mean, if you really research, it's subsidized mm -hmm. by our taxpayer dollar. And when they're exploiting people from around the globe, uh, these people are suffering. So really, to bring a message to our leadership mm -hmm. and to think about where, what we're buying and where we're buying it, uh, we'll bring it closer to home. And also it uh, helps the environment because it doesn't uh, use so much of a, a carbon footprint when we're buying locally. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we can grow our own food. Uh, we can plant seeds. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, we can uh, sprout seeds. Uh huh. Put them in with salads and soups. Yeah, and yeah. eat more sensibly and stay away from the things that aren't good for us. And That's right. Live a better life if we listen yeah. to nature and be in touch with nature and the larger pattern. Well, that's part of a positive way of seeing things and everything. And gosh, hope everyone would hope that with things move in that direction. And one of the things that's good toward helping the whole thing move that way is good media representation of a different way that yes. is more sustainable and more appropriate. And that's something you're involved with, and I congratulate yeah. you very oh, much. Oh, thank you. And on the drumming uh, circle for having won the award. <laughs> I mean, that might be a move in the right direction, Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, it's a yeah. big thrill, and it really gave them recognition uh, through, throughout New York City, uh -huh. New York, yeah. um, our country, throughout the world right now. It's very exciting. And you're, you're a filmmaker then, but you're not just a filmmaker of pretty images and things like that. You're a filmmaker with a message. Yeah. There are some filmmakers who are just really interested in a beautiful effect, and there's a certain art in that, don't you think, yes, also? Yes, yes. Well, my experimental like film that. will be that way. Your experiment, you're working on that now? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've just, spell that out one more time. We only got a, a minute or so. Uh, okay, well, right now I'm editing some beautiful scenes of the Hudson River Valley, close-ups of our biodiversity, Yeah. and the soundtrack will be the drumming. Oh, you're going to have the soundtrack behind the drumming of images. Yeah, yeah. Fast moving? Do you see it yeah. fast moving or slow? Or um, well, it varied? will be a combination, yeah. A well, and it will just be that. Very uh, good. And that will give yeah. you a chance to do filmmaking in a way that can have an effect, not only in terms of the beauty of the thing, but also to have an effect. Yes. A larger, a The beauty, the harmony, effect. and allow us to get back and see that again. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's a good thing to do. It's a good way. No wonder you're so happy with the way things are going. Thank you, Pamela, coming in. Thank you. And congratulations on the work and everything, and all the oh, best to the I drumming circle it. people oh, and yeah. the whole Aboriginal uh, lessons that can be led by, uh, can be learned by us about that. And so, thank you very much for viewing well, and your thank pleasure. You, pleasure for listening. Uh, Pamela uh, Timmons, artist, documentary filmmaker, and so forth. And obviously, somebody's got some very good ideas about uh, how this world might be able to be improved because there is considerable room for improvement from where we are now. And it may be <laughs> that true. it's available to us in a way that it just hasn't been. So that's a positive possibility. Yeah. And MNN is a good place to be able to do some of that filmmaking. MNN's doing great work mm. with the young people, bringing them in and teaching them skills. Okay, well, thanks for coming messages. in. <laughs> thanks for coming. Your pleasure. For seven. We'll be coming back again, well, tomorrow. But anyway, thanks an awful oh, you're lot. you're welcome. And happy and season, all... happy holiday season to one and all. 19... Yes. Now, here goes happy 2014. Holidays. Here comes 2015. May it be a great improvement. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks for you. We'll peace be and back. harmony and sustainability. <laughs> yes, okay. Thank you. Okay, so we're, we're out. That's it. Yeah, that's okay. it. <laughs> Thank you. So wow, gonna... that was exciting.